Hi there, I'm going to take you through how to easily deploy instances with Cloud Power VC Manager. You can see here that we're logged in as a standard user and on the front page we can see that there are no resources assigned to this user so far, so there's no need to charge them at this point. Then we simply do a couple of clicks. We click on and find our actual images. We deploy those with, with just a simple click again. Uh, we do, we've got two, two instances we're going to be doing here, AIX and also Linux. We'll be able to click on those and just request that they get deployed from the various templates available and uh, move forward from there. So that's the AIX done. So I'll move on beyond the AIX now again. It's clicking on back onto the deploy templates. Click on the Linux one, and then that will deploy in that in a simple, easy way as well. And we'll deploy that rolling forward. And uh, that's pretty much done. And then we'll click back just to check on where the, the requests are at this point and see where we are with this stage. So we've got our two deployments still pending at this point sittings. They haven't happened yet, so they, they are awaiting approval elsewhere. We can go back to our home screen and just check that at this point sittings because we haven't used any resources to still being charged against us. And then we'll flip over onto the new user. The requests are then sent through to the admin user who has the power, the power to be able to approve or otherwise, and uh, we can then move forward from there. The individual user doesn't have the power to actually be able to do things on his own, and so far he's still not being charged for anything at this point. Going over to the admin user, uh, we can see then that the requests have come through to them. We can see a couple of these pending requests, one for each of the, the servers we're looking for. We can then click on the approve button to be able to allow those, uh, send a nice polite message back to our user and allow him to get on with his, his, his daily work. So we can appro approve both of these. Then we finish with the admin user and we move back to our standard user and we can now see that he does have a couple of processors that are now assigned to him so we can actually now we build appropriately for the resources that he's actually using and we are also now seeing those two entities begin to actually be, be installed which only takes a moment or two and we avoid all the complexity of needing to go anywhere near the deployment of the virtualization or any of the actual sort of install, install process. It's all taken care of by PowerVC and all just happens by a few button clicks very simply indeed. So I hope that was useful for you to see and we'll use these particular entities in demos moving forward. Thanks for your time.